to start off our program, I'd like to welcome Dr. Lori Vermeulen, our provost, um, to the stand to introduce our president. And again, thank you for coming. I have the pleasure of introducing to you our president, Harvey Kesselman. In the past, I've written a poem and done things like that. But today, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say that we all know that he loves Stockton more than anyone else does. You might love it as much, but you can never love it more. And so this is really all about what Stockton is about right now. We're expanding our reach. We're expanding our enrollment. And so we're able to do things up here to serve the students in this region. And so we're so very proud of that. So with that, I'll introduce our president, Harvey Kesselman. It's hard to believe that this fall, six years ago, we started here, and it's seven courses, 130 students were enrolled, and one of the things that we were able to boast was ample parking for all, something we're not always able to do on a major campus. And now look at this absolutely fabulous facility, and it, it's, it is so much more gorgeous in person than what I had envisioned it was going to look like, and I, I could not be more please. It allows us to serve more, to give more, and to do more for our students and this community. So let me begin by extending acknowledgments, because we have members of our Board of Trustees joining us today. First, uh, let's welcome Trustee Ray Ciccone, our distinguished alumnus and trusted Stockton supporter. Stand up, Ray, I'm not going to get it. And a person who lives and breathes LBI. Distinguished alumnus and trusted Stockton supporter, okay, and the Honorable Dr. Nancy Davis, who is the mayor of the borough of Beach Haven and Stockton Professor Amerta, former dean at Stockton, fellow open house presenter, and will be speaking after me. And then we have all have some very special friends of Stockton with us today. And when you hear your name called, please raise your hand to be acknowledged. Now, you're all special guests, but I can't call all of you. So just assume I would if I had time to do so. But I don't know if he's here, but I'm, I'm hoping that Senator, uh, New Jersey Senator Chris Connors, if he's not here, for those he will be here, he is actually one of Stockton's most distinguished alum. Uh, he's the state senator. And uh, of course, his son also uh, went and, and works at Stockton. Assemblywoman, Diane Gove, stand up and be. <laughs> incredible supporter of Stockton. Even before Stockton was in her district, she was an incredible supporter of Stockton. And as a result of redistricting, we have lots of wonderful assembly persons and senators who support us. I don't know if Laurie's here, but I would be remiss. Laurie Herndon, who is the president and CEO of Atlantic Care Regional Medical Center and another distinguished Stockton alum, and who, without her incredible generosity and working very hard with Dr. Susan Davenport, our executive vice president, was able to come up with the funds to make this all happen without costing an additional dime in tuition to our students. So it is the gift. This truly has been the gift that keeps on giving to Stockton. I'd also like to shout out, and again, I don't know if he's here, Dr. John Coolin, the CEO of the Urgent Care Group, and then Ms. Lori Papanella, the CEO of Southern Ocean County Chamber of Commerce. Are you here? Well, guess what? I'm now going to talk about all of you since no, okay. <laughs> Uh, and of course, and this is really important, many, many thanks to our Stockton team in Manahawkin under the leadership of Dr. Eileen Conran. Folks, I know she's here. You just heard from her. There she is. And then, of course, Michelle Colin Davi Collins Davies. <laughs> Dr. Lisa Calamitas is going to be speaking, who has been our interim dean of health sciences and just a wonderful, wonderful Stockton member of our Stockton faculty. And then our dedicated facilities and operations team. Skip West is here. Skip. Rihanna LaPree is here. And then somebody's niece, Cindy Gove, is here. Okay. Okay. So kudos to all. St raise your hand, Cindy. There you go. As many of you are aware who are here at every... There he is. There he is. I already shouted you out. There's our state senator. Okay. And Stockton alum. Okay. As many of you know at most all of our Board of Trustees meetings, uh, Don Hudson, who's our very capable Vice President for Facilities and Operations, who's at the campus on the other major projects going on today, delivers a, uh, a report, an update, on all the numerous projects that are happening at the university. And he was pleased this last board meeting of just a couple of weeks ago to show the photography of this facility. So let's talk about this beautiful facility 
Uh, it now supports our Stockton's Accelerated BSN Nursing Program, the RN to BSN program, uh, and the Bachelor's of Science in Health Sciences. This is an 8,000 square foot edition of instructional space, advanced technology. If Bob Heinrich is here, everything we have to buy is the most advanced technology. Where are you? There he is, okay. But it does have that, and ultra modern equipment. I had some folks talking to me that was just a little bizarre back there. Uh, a state-of-the-art classroom for 48 students, a foundations lab with six hospital beds and seven exam rooms, office space, lots of it, it looks like, for faculty and support staff, and of course, uh, it's outfitted with some of the artwork from our Noise Museum of Stockton. Yeah, round of applause for Noise. Another one. Now, this past year, because we actually do believe in students first, and this past year, we surveyed the students to get some feedback on what they thought about this site. And they shared their experiences regarding our faculty, classes, and the site itself, saying things like, loved having classes here, or this has been a wonderful experience, keep up the great work. We heard from one student, though, who afforded some constructive feedback and said, and just add a lounge area and it will be perfect. Just add that lounge area. And so we did just that. We added that lounge and we added a student lounge complete with vending machines, several computer workstations, and a conference room. So student whoever did that, thank you for making that happen. But today is more than just a beautiful new facility. And I, and I say this a lot, because beyond the bricks and mortars, we're about educating people. And that's the most important thing. That, that is what we do. And it's about opportunity for all of our students, and opportunity also for this wonderful community. At Stockton, we do want to provide our students only the best preparation, for we understand the need and the great demand for this critically important profession. For some people, possibly in the most vulnerable times of their lives, they will encounter the services and assistance of someone in the nursing profession. And as the saying goes, save one life and you're a hero. Save a hundred lives and you're a nurse. Th then you're in, yes, to you. <laughs> Therefore, we are all proud to support the growth and advancement in our nursing and health sciences program. Now from my heart. We have been involved in Southern Ocean County. It's a, been part of our history from our founding. We have always wanted to plant ourselves here and grow as we did in Galloway. This was that seed and it's beginning to blossom and it's only the beginning of what's gonna be 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50 years of growth in Southern Ocean County. We value this area, we value Manahawk, and we value Long Beach Island, but most importantly, we value you guys for being part of our future alum, okay? So we'll start hitting you up on your way out today, okay? <laughs> thank you for all that you have done for us. Thank you, everyone. Thank our trustees for their commitment making out. Our retired faculty who are here, thank you for everything you do. And let me tell you something about the nursing faculty before I step down. There is no faculty that is more close who keep their connections to this institution than our nursing faculties from the beginning. So thank all of you for all that you do for all of them. Thank you. It's a real hard act to follow Harvey. Um, when I used to do the campus presentations, I got to talk first. <laughs> but anyway, I'll try to edit this as I go along, as Harvey said a lot of what I, I want to say. But I want to thank you very much for having me here to speak. Um, it truly is an honor um, to be here with a, a wonderful group of colleagues and in such an exciting time when Stockton is really um, making a difference here in Ocean County. Um, I joined Stockton faculty in 1973, only a couple years after uh, when it was Stockton State, it was founded. Um, I had just received my PhD a, a few months before that. <laughs> I really didn't know what I was doing. Um, but at the time, the college was made up of um, uh, a very, it was very two buildings. And it housed the library and the cafeteria where we had a pub. And it had um, 
a lot of classrooms and, and some little offices, were, which were cubicles. Um, the only other buildings were really on the other side of Lake Fred, which were some dorms. And it was a very friendly uh, atmosphere. Um, you couldn't help love it. You knew everybody. Uh, but today, the main campus is a hive of activity uh, with facilities that rival any, any college campus in this country, I believe. Um, additionally, the Gateway Project in Atlantic City has the potential to revitalize the city and the area. So we're so excited about what Stockton's doing, and this is part of the excitement. Um, I've long advocated for a stronger presence of Stockton in, in um, Ocean County. Um, where I live, and as Harvey mentioned, I'm the mayor of Beach Haven. Um, I've, and now since I'm mayor, I've really actively campaigned and being on the trustees, we've got to get more, we've got to get more in, in Manahawkin. We've got to get more in Ocean County. I'd like to see it spread. Um, so I feel confident uh, uh, in, that, uh, in pushing uh, basically this region that I'm doing the right thing, that this is the right thing. Years ago, when the hospital up the road was just a teensy weeny little hospital, I taught classes there in pathology to nurses. And um, it, was a, it was a great experience. Uh, the students loved it. They loved to have, um, they were, well, they themselves were very enthusiastic, but they were very grateful that uh, there were classes being offered in their area. So they didn't have to travel so far, um, and it was near their places of employment. And actually, at that time, which was a while ago, the demand became so great that I started doing general studies courses over here, too, which was really fun. So I got to know a lot, a lot of the nurses that worked uh, at the hospital and at the various facilities in this area. Um, I'm very, very excited uh, about this expansion into Ocean County and the long-term investment that Stockton's making. Stockton's presence here is really greatly needed. There's no, I have no doubt that this facility here will enrich the lives of many, many uh, Southern Ocean County residents. Access to learning, in my opinion, is about the most important thing that we can give people. Um, basically, this facility uh, will allow people to begin their degree programs and find an area that they really want to, to work in. It'll give many of us a chance just to explore new topics and get excited about things that we want to know more about. Um, because we have more than just nursing here. This facility is incredible, but there's many opportunities here uh, for residents of, the, the, um, count of uh, Southern Ocean County. And in addition to that, if once you get started here and you want to go to the main campus, it's only 20 minutes down the parkway, so it's not a long drive. Uh, I, I'm also so proud of this facility, and I, I just um, uh, want you to notice that we have the state-of-the-art technology here. It's absolutely amazing. That, I mean, I, they, they might even let me uh, practice on some of these mannequins. Um, they're, they're, it's just amazing. So I know the students are going to be dazzled by this center, and it's going to really... Uh, it, it's really going to be an important asset, asset, asset for Stockton. Um, Manahawkin, Long Beach Island, Barney Gett, and the surrounding areas are a true growth area here. And um, this increased growth um, uh, brings about many opportunities to all of us. Um, and it also leads to some problems. Uh, and these must be addressed. And, and as mayor of the town, I, I see a, a lot of problems. Um, so I, I, fund, I really truly believe we need a really top-rate higher education institute in this area. And this is going to help us solve a lot of these problems. Um, and it's going to um, attract more people to this area because we are offering growth in the environment and cultural areas and that sort of thing. And it's going to keep our talented young people in this area. And that, that to me is so important. So I am so proud to be part of Stockton University, and I am honored uh, to be a professor emeritus as well as a member of the Board of Trustees. Uh, Stockton's growth in Manahawkin is welcomed by all of us in the community, and I know that this relationship is going to continue to pros prosper in the future, and I'm going to fight to make sure that happens. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that contagious enthusiasm. I'm ready to fight with you. At this time, please welcome to the podium our Interim Dean of Health Sciences, Dr. Lisa Calamides. Thank you. 
Thank you, Eileen. Good morning, everyone. You know, it is funny. I think one of the problems of being academics is we get prepared and then we stray from our speech. Because I couldn't help but think after listening to President Kesselman and, and um, Dr. Davis that there's so much longevity in history, you know, looking around and seeing some of our Meridi faculty. Um, once you become part of Stockton, you stay. Dr. Davis hired me back in 1986, and I don't, haven't looked back since. It's been a long time. President Kesselman and I have known each other the same amount of time. So um, it really is, we do become very dedicated. And we're dedicated to our students. We're dedicated to the mission of the institution. We're dedicated to so many aspects, um, and dedicated to the, um, the communities, et cetera. So uh, I just had to get that in there. It's like, you know, I've got my prepared speech, which I will do now, OK? We can do this, OK? Uh, but I wanted to say thank <laughs> OK. Good morning. Uh, President Kesselman, Provost Vermeulen, Trustee Davis, Mr. Paganelli, uh, honored guests, faculty, staff, and students. On behalf of the School of Health Sciences, I have the honor to welcome you to the Manahawkin expansion today. I am truly both honored and humbled that we could all be part of today's ceremony. We're able to stand at the center of this incredible instructional center because of the hard work and dedication of so many individuals who contributed to this project from its inception to its opening. It truly took a village to bring this project to, fr to fruition. I'm very appreciative of everyone's hard work, collaboration, support, and willingness to undertake any task in order to get the job done, truly. I mean, the number of times uh, people were running up here to get things done, to oversee as the doors, op doors open, doors closed, this, you know, packages delivered outside, everything. I mean, you have no idea. Um, thank you to Dr. Kesselman, Provost Vermeulen, and my predecessor, Dr. Teresa Bartolotta, uh, and Dr. McDonald for your vision. Thank you to members of the board and our generous donors for your support. Thank you to our colleagues. And this is where I was going through last night. I was trying to write everybody's name down. And I thought it was going to become like the Oscars, where they're going to start you know, music and saying, OK, you got to leave now. So I did some, it, is, it may seem repetitive, but what I did do is I decided to thank the, the individuals by offices, because our colleagues work as a collective. So for people to have an appreciation of the number of individuals involved in this project is really, really important. But I have to thank the colleagues in the Division of Facilities and Operations. Office of Facilities Planning and Construction, Office of Facilities Management and Plan Operations, Office of Real Estate, Telecommunications and Network, Infrastructure and Information Technology, and I probably forgot somebody, and I know I'm going to be upset about that when I think about it. Um, I have to thank the entire staff of the School of Health Sciences. They've really become my second family. They kept us moving in the right direction by assisting in every way possible, including planning, ordering, organizing, even making the beds, trust me, been back there doing that, and keeping me sane, I think, and keeping me, pointing me in the right direction. Uh, thanks to everyone here on site, Michelle Collins-Davies, Eileen Conner, and folks, uh, and your staff also. Thank you to Dr. Wal Walton for his dedication to creating a state-of-the-art foundations of nursing and health assessment labs. You're going to get to appreciate them when you walk around and see how they, they, they look. As I said earlier, it really took, a tr uh, really took a village to have this project come to fruition. The thing is, we all had a common goal of creating a site that would enable Stockton to educate outstanding students and nurses, and I am confident that we have achieved that goal. And in that light, it now gives me great pleasure to introduce our student speaker, Mr. Daniel Paganelli, who's actually one of Stockton's very first graduating class of the Accelerated Nursing Program. So I think, yeah. And um, I, I just asked him, he's, you're scheduled to take your NCLEX next week, you said? OK, so I'm sure you'll do fine. Uh, he informed me that there are several students from the class who've already passed their NCLEX, which is great. Uh, the challenge is sometimes just even getting that permission to test, but I think that's, that's terrific. Um, as a student, actually, um, Mr. Paganelli was a health science major. He was a graduate of the health sciences program. Uh, he was a health science student facilitator and nursing trans cell class representative. He's a member of Sigma Theta Tau International Nursing Society and represented Stockton at the FEMA Higher Education Conference. So I'm very glad to be able to introduce Mr. Paganelli, who could be with here, here with us today. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kalamidis. I appreciate that introduction. Um, as a recent graduate from the first Stockton uh, University Accelerated Program, um, I was asked to say a few words, but truly a few words 
<laughs> is, is not enough. Um, my fellow classmates and I, we really appreciate Stockton University, our nursing program, the School of Health Sciences, and the staff here at Manhattan. Um It feels like just yesterday I was in Dr. Patton's office, and uh, she was describing to me a new 15-month program, a nursing program, that was coming to Stockton University and how it would be here in Manahawken. Uh This piqued my interest and the interest of my fellow classmates. Uh, you may ask why. Um, I was excited about something like this uh, program coming to Manahawken when the main campus is in Galloway and has everything you could possibly want. But that question can easily be answered by myself and my cohort. Manahawken is just not a satellite campus for us. It is our second home. Um, it, came, it became a place where our co cohort bonded over classes and that were held four to five days a week, a place where learning was more personalized and catered to our needs, and a place to have an experience that played well for our program's need, which were rigorous and demanded less distractions, which can intentionally happen on the main campus. Uh, in addition to Stockton's uh, facility here at Manahawk and itself also provides a wonderful community uh, to work with in the field of medicine. The Stockton nursing program cre created connections with both Atlantic Care, such as the Urgent Care on 72, and uh, Socius Hospital right on 72 as well. For my cohort to have clinicals, which made the distance for traveling much less, much less and the opportunity for a potential job in the local area much greater. Uh, these experiences I had uh, sorry, <laughs> the experience I had and the nurse I will become is no doubt due to the excellent professors I had educating me throughout this journey. Without Dr. Patton and the team of professors that created and developed this program, I would not be in the position I am in today applying for a job. I am sincerely, I am sincerely passionate about, while I can say my cohort and I worked extremely hard throughout this program, I can also say the professors did the same thing. Every day our professors came to work eager to teach us about their craft and what it means to be a hardworking, passion, passionate, and logical nurse while doing so in a short 15-month period. <laughs> <laughs> there, <laughs> there was not a semester that went by that our professors didn't want us to be better and improve their already successful program. I can already tell the Manahawken site, and this new addition is only the beginning for what is to come at Stockton, Manahawken, there isn't a college student in the world who can deny this friendly and welcoming space. And that is due to the incredible staff. The staff here at Manahawken is known to my cohort to go above and beyond for the students. Every day they greeted us with a good morning or how was your weekend? <laughs> Which truly made us feel, it really made us feel at home here. Um, anything that we needed, they always responded swiftly and professionally. Uh, whether it be, you know, providing us with laptops or helping us with printing massive amounts of notes, which we had, <laughs> which we had um, stacks of, I can assure you that. Um, but they did the little things, man. They, uh, they provided us with pots of coffee, little snacks on test day. They always rooted us on. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for being in our corner, rooting us on throughout this entire program. Um, and it's not every day that students get to acknowledge and properly thank every person that made them who they are, but I am grateful that I have this opportunity because I don't know a more deserving group. There are so many different people who make this program work on a daily, and I am truly excited for the upcoming cohorts. These professionals not only provided us, with stu provided us students with the knowledge to pass our classes and receive our bachelor's degree in nursing, but also the, the ability to pass our boards effortlessly we're three for three already, I like that. Um, they provided us with uh, future careers where we, could, where we can not only prosper and grow within the field of nursing, but, in, but also in life. More importantly, we can now take care of and save a person's life. A heavy burden to bear, but one we are absolutely prepared for. You are all role models for us, and we appreciate you and all you've done for us. Finally, to the second and future cohorts of this program. I just want to say, enjoy this amazing new simulation lab, classrooms, and study area. <laughs> Stockton University is consistently meeting the needs of students, and these additions just, just prove that. When it comes to honing your skills as a future nurse, you'll be thankful for the areas and resources Stockton has provided you to ensure you that you will be the best and most prepared. I wish you the best in your classes, and I know 
and just know that you have the nicest, most brilliant people around you. <laughs> um, here, at the, here in the nursing program and on the Stockton site, rooting you on. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. I would be remiss. She did, I did see her come in. Here she is. Uh, I, I shouted her out earlier, and then I'm going to call up the senator to, to express some words. Um, Laurie Herndon. Hey, if you all want to grow up and be, you know, after you do this, Laurie Herndon is Stockton alum, the CEO of Atlantic Care. Without her, this does not happen. An incredible role model for all of you. Make sure all of you get to know her. She she has a lot of jobs under her belt. Just just saying, okay. And and a wonderful wonderful human being. Thank you, Laurie, for everything you've done. Well, kudos, kudos, fellow. And she's on our foundation board. You could not ask for a more supportive alum and a more supportive person. Um, yeah, I would be remiss. Our two elected officials. This it really is important to have the kind of political support that we have at Stockton. Um, it's 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 these are the people that ensure that when we have an idea or we need legislation passed or we need a, you know an increase in an appropriation. These are our go to people. Whether they're in in power, whether the party is in power or not, they're also people that give us good advice. They let us know what they hear out there, uh, which is really important. They let us understand the pulse of the community, and it's usually a thankless job. It really is. Uh, but they work, and they work hard, and I think it's really important, particularly these two, that you know how important they have been to this happening. So with no further ado, Senator Chris Connors, another distinguished alum of Stockton, to say a few words. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, Dr. Kesselman. <clears throat> My remarks will be both unprepared and short. <laughs> it's hard to believe that nearly 40 years has passed since the day I stepped off the campus of Stockton University, then Stockton State College, uh, with a bachelor's degree, and how proud I've been to be both, be both a graduate of Stockton uh, and continue to work for the institution as a member of the state legislature. I, wasn't certain of where my path would take me the day that I left uh, Stockton University. But it has been fun to watch it grow. And it has been fun to watch, especially under the stewardship of Dr. Kesselman, who uh, we both had the opportunity to, to be students about the same time. Now, you'll hear that Dr. Kesselman came over from the Mayflower. <laughs> they mean the first college campus of Stockton was called the Mayflower Hotel in, in Atlantic City. <clears throat> and to see Dr. Kesselman Stewart bring us back into Atlantic City to help rejuvenate and to, and to grow the area. Um, Daniel, uh, wonderful remarks. I enjoy them immensely. And it is through your hard work, uh, as well as the faculty and administration and uh, the stewardship of the trustees, Ray Jacon and Honorable Nancy Davis uh, and the others that have made Stockton University a premier institution of higher education in the state of New Jersey. Now, when I graduated in 1978, my degree was not as valuable as it is today. I hold it as a stock certificate. And through the hard work of the trustees and the administration and people like Daniel and fellow colleagues who've, who have graduated Stockton, you have made it an enormous institution and the value of my stock certificate continues to rise each and every day as well as family members that have also attended Stockton. Now, I walked into the lobby here <clears throat> and immediately my eyes were drawn to the exhibit from the Noise Museum, the carvings of the shorebirds and the waterfowl decoys. And that's important to me because then I'm an old salt. I'm a bayman and, and, and grew up on a bay uh, here in, in Southern Ocean County. So while Stockton points to the future, it respects the past. And it is an example of how sensitive Stockton University has been to our cultural underpinnings here in Southern Ocean County. And I think that's enormously important um, for everyone. Stockton is going to be a cultural and economic boom to our area. And we're so very, very deeply grateful to serve Stockton, continue to serve Stockton, and pledge to work with you each and every day as we continue to achieve great things. So all of you, thank you for allowing me to be part of this. Thank you.